First, we are going to make the lower part. To begin, make a slip knot and chain 96. It is my underbust measurement. If you want your top look bigger, please add more chains. Row 1, we are going to skip one chain and start from the second chain. Single crochet into each stitch until the end of the row. For row 2, chain 1, turn your work, single crochet into every stitch until the end of the row. Repeat row 2 until you have 22 rows in total and if you want your top longer, please add more rows. Next, after you got your desired fit, now I'm going to show you how I'm measuring this part. Try it on your body, put it under your bust, and use stitch marker to mark your underarm part. Then fold it into two pieces and you will find another spot to mark. Next, 
Next, we are going to make the back part. Start from where your last stitch is. Roll 23, chain 1, turn your work, single crochet into every stitch until you reach your stitch marker. For row 24, chain 1, turn your work, single crochet into every stitch until the end of the row. Repeat row 24 until you reach row 29. So after I have made 17 rows of back part, it is my size from under bust to under arm. And now try it on your body again to make sure that this part not higher than your under arm. Make sure you keep some space for your under arm. Next, we are going to make the front puff. To begin, start from where your last stitch is and chain 10. It is the size from underarm to the chest. If you want lower chest, please make less chain. Row 1 of front puff, we are going to skip 2 chains. Double crochet into each stitch until the end of the row.
As you can see, we are working on the length way. After you reach the end of the row, and now we are going to slip stitch with the lower part two times. Row 2, turn your work, and we are going to make the ball crochet into every stitch until the end of the row. Row 3, chain 2, turn your work. Make the ball crochet into every stitch until the end of the row and we are going to slip stitch 2 times. If you want your front puff look more rough, please make the ball crochet a little bit loose by pull the yarn a little bit higher but not too much. Repeat row 2 and row 3 into every stitch until you reach your second stitch marker. Remember, you have to slip stitch into every stitch.
after you reach your stitch marker and now we are going to slip stitch only one As you can see, for the first of the back part, we have made 17 rows and 8 stitches for the chest. So we are going to make the same thing for the second back part. Count 8 stitches away from the edge, so chain 2 doesn't count as a stitch. Use stitch marker to mark at the last count. For row 1 of the back part, Continue where your last stitch is and we are going to single crochet into each stitch until the end of the row. Row 2, chain 1, turn your work single crochet into every stitch until the end of the row don't forget to count your stitches to make sure that you don't miss any stitch or over stitches And now we are going to skip the first stitch because this first stitch count as with the first row. So we are going to slip stitch into the second and third stitch. Row 3, turn your work, single crochet into every stitch until the end of the row. Row 4, chain 1, turn your work, single crochet into every stitch until the end of the row, and we are going to slip stitch 2 times. And now we are going to chain 1 and cut off the yarn.
Next, we are going to make the puff sleeves. So I have made the left sleeve already. It is the same thing for both sides. First, we are going to make the strap for the top. To begin, chain 46. It is my shoulder size. If you want it bigger, please add more chains. And now after you got your desired fit, then we are going to slip stitch into the edge of the back part to connect the strap. So for the first row of the strap, we are going to turn over. And slip stitch two times into the back part. Then we are going to make the ball crochet into every chain until you reach the other side. For the last stitch of the row, we are going to make the ball crochet slip stitch. To make the ball crochet slip stitch, yarn over, insert the hook into the loop, yarn over and pull through of the loop. So now you have 3 loops on your hook. Insert the hook into the other loop of the back part and yarn over, pull through of 2 loops. Then insert the hook into the second loop and yarn over, pull through all the loops. And now you can see the ball crochet is slip stitch with the back part. Roll 2, slip stitch 2 times. And turn your work. The ball crochet into every stitch until the end of the row. And we are going to make the ball crochet slip stitch again, like the first row. Thank you. 
Repeat row 2 until you reach row 4. After you got 4 rows for the strap, and now we are going to make the puff sleeve. For the right sleeve and left sleeve, it has a little bit different. So as you can see, this is the right side of the stitch, and this is the wrong side of the stitch. So I want my puff sleeve on the right side. I have to turn it and make the ball crochet around. So for the difference between the left sleeve is, after you got 4 rows for the strap, you don't have to turn it and make the ball crochet. Just chain 2 and continue to make the ball crochet around. No need to turn. And the right side, you have to turn to make sure the right side of the stitch is on the right side. Row 1 of the post sleeve, turn your work, chain 2 and make the ball crochet into every stitch until you got 15 stitches and we are going to increase by make two double crochet into the same stitch then make two double crochet and increase again so we are going to repeat this until you got 10 stitches of increase I don't want my puff sleeve look too big, so I only increase at the top of the shoulder. If you want your puff sleeve look bigger, please add more increasing stitches. After you got 10 stitches of increase, and now we are going to make the ball crochet into every stitch until you reach the corner part. And we are going to make the ball crochet decrease. To make the ball crochet decrease, yarn over, insert the hook into the loop. Yarn over and pull through up the loop. So now you have 3 loops on your hook. And yarn over, pull through up 2 loops. Again, yarn over. Insert the hook into the loop. Yarn over and pull through up the loop. And yarn over, pull through up 2 loops. So now you have 3 loops on your hook. And yarn over, pull through all the loops. Then make the ball crochet into every stitch until you meet the chain 2 stitch and we are going to slip stitch to connect the roll For row 2, we are going to chain 2 and make the ball crochet into every stitch around until you reach your chain 2 stitch and we are going to slip stitch to connect the row. Repeat row 2 until you reach row 11. It is the length of the part slip. If you want your part slip look longer, please add more rows before you make decreasing row.
chain 2, make the ball crochet into the next stitch. And we are going to make the ball crochet decrease into every stitch around until you meet the chain 2 stitches. And we are going to slip stitch to connect the row. After you have made decreasing stitch around, if it look too small and too tight around your arm, please make less decreasing stitch. And if you think it still look big, please make more increasing stitch for another roll. Row 13, chain 1 single crochet into every stitch around and slip stitch to connect the row Row 14, chain 2, turn your work, make half the ball crochet into every stitch until you meet chain 2 stitch and we are going to slip stitch to connect the row. Row 15, chain 2, turn your work, make 2 double crochet into the same stitch. For the next stitch, we are going to make 3 double crochet into the same stitch. Repeat this into every stitch around until you meet your chain 2 stitch and we are going to slip stitch to connect the row.
Next, we are going to make the back corset. I have made on the left side already. For the left side, you have to start from the back to the front or from the bottom to up. And for the right side, we start from the front side to the back or from up to down. Because I want the right side of the stitches on the right side, like the cross sleeve. Row 1, we are going to attach the yarn and single crochet slip stitch with the front curve. Then make single crochet into every stitch until the end of the row. Row 2, chain 1, turn your work and single crochet into every stitch until the end of the row and we are going to make single crochet slip stitch again with the front puff. Row 3, slip stitch 1, turn your work, and single crochet into every stitch until you reach 32 stitches. It is the size from your front shoulder to the back shoulder. It is where the middle side of the post slip. Like you can see on the left side, we are going to make the corset hole for the lace. You have to make the corset hole at the middle part of the sleeve also, to support the sleeve not fall off when you wear them. To make corset hole, we are going to chain 2, skip 2 stitches, and make 6 single crochet. Repeat this until the end of the row, then we are going to chain 1 and cut off the yarn. 
Don't forget to count your stitches to make sure that both sides have the same number and the corset hole is face to each other. So for the left side, the third row must be at the front, so you have to continue by chain 50, then cut off the yarn. And for the right side, the end row is at the back, so I have to attach the yarn at the front and chain 50. Next, we are going to make chain long enough for the back lace. And now your post sleeve is done. If you like this video, please don't forget to click like and subscribe to my channel. Turn on notification bell so you will notify when I post the video. And see you in the next video. Bye bye.